Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back or to the channel. What is going on today? Besides Marcy chasing wasps. Sorry, got him. And he's probably going to come and sting me and then things won't look so good. No, Anyways, so what we're doing today, I'm sure you've all seen one of these on Amazon or eBay, these battery monitors. We are going to install it and see if they actually work for $15. Okay, guys, Marcia just said she makes me interesting. Look at She's sitting right there. <laughs> Let's go inside, take a look. So, I'm doing this without a tripod today. That'll be a little different. A little stick. Anyways. This here is a monitor. We are in the middle of installing it. Depending on where you live, they're anywhere from 10, 15, 20 dollars. It claims, claims, you like that word? To do a whole bunch of stuff. It claims to be able to keep an eye on your battery, let you know what power is, let you know what you're using, the watts, the amps, all that fun stuff. Let's take a look. So this little thing, right here, is supposed to be the magic. Ignore all this. We're in the middle of hooking all this up. If you didn't see that video, we're in the middle of hooking this up. But this is the little battery monitor. There's not much to it. On the back, if I can flip it around without wrecking anything, on the back, it shows, and it's all upside down, it shows your power coming in, your ground, and then your monitoring grounds. That's what it shows on the back. So as you'll see, we've got the red wire as power coming in. We've got our black here as our ground going to it. We've got a green wired. I made it green so I knew, which was a negative from the load side. And then we have our white, which is our negative from the monitor side. So there's three negatives that go into here and one power that goes in here and more or less that power is to be able to light it up so you can actually read the display. Now the reason it looks upside down is if you've seen any of the videos for installing these things, sometimes when you look at them, this little reset button right here, sometimes it's on the right, sometimes it's on the left, so I put it on the left, that's wrong. And the sticker's upside down when you put it on the right. So we're going to see how this goes. So let's stroll the mile and a half in the tiny home and wheels to the battery. Not a mile and a half, it's a couple steps. So let's see what we got going on here. I'm gonna do my best to show you. So that black, that green, that red, and that white wire, where do they all go? So right now I've got jumpers hooked up to the battery so I could actually run this to show you how it works. But let's take a look. So, there it is. So you've got your main power, or the main ground, coming in on this side. Then you have your white coming in on the battery side, still the ground. Then you have your green coming in on the load side. Right here is just a jumper, so I'm going to go to my fuse panel, or fuse block right now, because I don't have that set up. That red wire you can hook directly up to your power. If you do have a fuse block, or I would hook up to the fuse block. So that's how it comes in. It goes, you have three grounds, one, two, and three. And then you're going to have one power that either goes to your power to monitor your battery or it goes right to a block to monitor your battery. So let's give it power, shall we? And find out if it actually works and does what it's supposed to and see what happens when we put a load on it. We don't have a lot hooked up in the tiny home right now, do we, Miss Marcy? 
Not yet. We're working on it. <laughs> but we're actually going to put a load on. I didn't go through a whole install video because there's a pile of people installing these. But some people don't have what it looks like for a load and don't make it really easy of what it's installing. So this is a real quick, hey, what do you have to do to get one of these working? And does that 10 to $20 thing actually work that you can get? So let's take a look at my jumpers. And what that 10 to $20 thing does, right? That, right. <laughs> so this jumper I've got right now technically is just hooked up for power to the battery. It's a temporary one because normally it's going to go through these breakers. This particular jumper down here is a negative to the battery. And right now it's just hooked up to a jumper instead of a great big huge cable, which the great big huge cables are right there. It's coming, it's coming. So we are going to hook this up and not get zapped hopefully. Oh, no zapping allowed, look at that. So let's take a wander over, shall we? Let's go back and see what's happening. So I actually put, or Marcy and I put switches on here because depending on where we are, you can either turn off the brake or you can actually have it. So right now you'll see there's a bunch of stuff labeled on the bottom of this panel. New labeling coming. <laughs> so if I just wanted to turn on the USB panel, I could actually just hit this switch and it's gonna give me my voltage and everything down here. But that's not what we're here for, is it? Although those are really cool, those little switch panels. So let's see what this monitor says as soon as I flip it on where I've got it temporarily labeled here as monitor. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna flip this on. Come on. It's on. Voltage. It says the voltage up there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's take a better look. Let's zoom in. It says right now the voltage is at 13 and there's no draw. So just for argument's sake, let's turn on the pat the monitor at the bottom and see if it says 13. It's saying 13. Now let's go up to the top and see if we've got any draw. So it's saying right now we are drawing 0 0.03 amps and that's just strictly turning this on. What's in here is a 12 volt plug and USBs are now powered and ready to go. So if I open up this cap, it's hard because this whole thing is not attached. You'll see the USBs are there. So just that alone is drawing 0.02 to 0 0.03 amps and it's showing my power consumption and this would be my watt hours if we were drawing anything else. So let's take this another step further and let's give it a little bit more of a load. Let's just zoom back out here for a sec. So I've got couch lights right now and center lights. Those are my couch lights. They're just low powered LEDs. These are the center lights that we have in here. So we're going to turn on the couch lights, boom they're on, let's see what type of draw we've got going on now. So we have got 0 0.32 to 0 0.33, let's take this group, why do they put these things on here, can I get this off with one hand, that makes it really hard to see, come on, come on off, can I do this, come on, oh. There we go. So now we've got the current right now is at 0 0.33, 0 0.32 amps. Our voltage in our battery because we're pulling it is at 12.93 and our watts is at 4.1. So let's turn on the center lights, see what happens there. Go here, boom, centers are on. So now we have a whole bunch of lights on and we are only pulling 0 0.80 amps. Battery right now is displaying at 12.8. If I go down to the bottom, what's the panel showing? 12.8 as well. So, we are using 10.2 watts. We don't have any watt hours yet, right? Because we just started this. But this more or less tells you what's going on with your battery. That's pretty cool. So not only can you see what your actual battery is at, you can see how many amps you're pulling, you can see how many watts you're pulling, it gives you an idea, a better idea of what's going on. You could get another one of these because you can't do what's coming in and going out, but if you did get another one of these and wired them in reverse, you could actually see what your panel's pulling in or your charger's pulling in and be, get a better idea of your battery health, what your battery's doing. 
but after watching this for a while or keeping an eye on it you'll know exactly hey this is what I'm using this is how many watt hours I'm using it gives you a better idea now again this is some very low power usage that we're using right now I don't have the inverter plugged in or wired up to go but I did want to go over this little monitor to show you guys is it worth the 10 to 20 dollars yeah why not Gives you a little bit more know-how of what's going on with your battery. What you're doing with your power, how you're using your power. Right now with all this stuff on it says I'm using 10 watts. Battery sitting with this stuff on it sitting at 12.7. And my total amps that I'm using right now is 0.79 amps. And it all matches down here. If I turn on the water pump that's going to change. If I turn on the kitchen lights, counter lights, all that stuff's going to change. But it gives you a great idea of what's going on. I'm actually pretty impressed for that 10 to $20 depending on where you live and I think we paid 15 bucks so not bad guys if you like videos like this please smash that thumbs up as Marcy would normally say don't forget to subscribe if you didn't hear don't forget to subscribe guys and ding that notification bell so be notified the next video don't we put out subscribe. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe <laughs> ding that notification bell so you'll be notified the next video that we put out and we have so much more to do so many cool things to do so much more awesome wiring and techno stuff and electronics and all that fun jazz on this tiny home we will see you in the next upload